the political battle in France is getting ugly. Several parties across the ideological spectrum have slammed French President Emmanuel Macron, accusing him of holding on to power. This is the unbelievable situation in which we have found ourselves. It's a form of legislative takeover that the president is currently doing. So he should stop monopolizing power, admit that he was defeated and admit that we won. The reaction comes on the heels on Macron's open letter on Wednesday. In the letter, the French president called on quote-unquote Republican parties to form a coalition government. The letter essentially calls for political parties on the far right and far left to be left out. The first person who caused trouble and who has caused confusion is Emmanuel Macron. Now we are in a situation that's unprecedented. It's inescapable, mathematically. That's why I'm saying this again. Some wanted a coalition among Macron's centrists and the Republicans. What does that come to? It totals 220 or 225 votes. We are far from this absolute majority, which is at 289 votes. What would happen is that this government would fall almost from the very start. That's why I am proposing to adjust and have a more acceptable profile with a wider spectrum of political parties in the National Assembly. Now, Macron broke his silence via an open letter days after the second round of snap elections ended in a political gridlock, with no party getting a clear majority. The president's comments seem to indicate his unwillingness to form an alliance with the left-wing New Popular Front coalition that secured the highest number of seats. Earlier, too, the president and other leaders of centrist alliance have refused to enter into a coalition deal with France Unbowed, which is the largest party of the left's NPF. The centrist bloc has often accused Jean-Luc Mélenchon, 72-year-old leader of France Unbowed, of quote-unquote, being just as extreme, as unfit to govern as the far right. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.